Welcome. We invite you to look at what we believe is the finest lake, pond, reservoir, and river restoration program in the world today by America's first lake restoration company. Clean Flow Laboratories is a company dedicated to the restoration of water bodies throughout the world, having restored over 1,000 lakes and ponds since 1970. A lake is an ecosystem containing many living organisms that interact with one another and with their environment in a balanced web of life. That balance may be destroyed by the extensive growth of some organisms or by the death of others. This is caused either by nature or in many cases by man-made pollutants. In either event, the lake begins to die. In fact, the United States government has inventoried over 600,000 lakes over 200 acres in size that are highly polluted. The basic purpose of the Clean Flow Lake Restoration Program is to reduce this pollution and restore and maintain that vital balanced web of life. Our restoration process removes bottom organic muck, greatly improves fish growth and health, and reduces aquatic weeds, algae, foul odors, and disease bacteria. Not only is water quality greatly enhanced, but aesthetic value and life forms in and around the water body are improved. Before clean flow can restore a lake, we must determine what is wrong with the lake. Because every lake is different with its own set of problems, we must make a careful analysis of the lake. Only then will we really know what the cause of the problem is and what can be done about it. Let's take a look at the three basic processes that all work together to clean the water. In nature, the most important cleansing action takes place every spring and fall when a lake's surface water passes through 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees centigrade and becomes heavier than the bottom water. This causes the lake to turn over, a process called inversion. At the heart of Clean Flow's restoration program is a process called multiple inversion, which duplicates and multiplies natural inversion. Toxic bottom waters are gently gathered at the lake bottom, floated to the surface, then spread across the lake in a thin sheet so that noxious gases are neutralized and oxygenated surface water is taken down to the bottom. Oxygenating the bottom water prevents the release of fertilizers from the bottom sediment, thus improving water quality. Using only one horsepower, 480,000 gallons of bottom water can be raised to the surface every hour. This would completely roll over a 10-foot deep, 10-acre section of lake once every three days. An essential part of restoring balanced life to a lake is re-establishing the food web. We do this by adding beneficial microorganisms called sea flow, clean flow living organisms, to the lake. They rapidly consume lake bottom muck, thus reducing the production of toxic gases and slowing weed growth. Clean flow lake cleanser is also added, which helps remove phosphorus from the water, thus further controlling the growth of weeds and algae. This is what a typical pond looks like before we begin the restoration process. Now this is the same pond one year later. You're seeing seeds from cottonwood trees floating on top of the water. The water itself is clean and clear. This lake has been treated for three years. But here at the south end, a storm sewer brings in a lot of pollutants especially during spring runoff. These pollutants help feed the growth of algae and weeds. But within three months, our restoration process has reduced those weeds and algae, resulting in clean, clear water. Let's take a look at some more of the many lakes, ponds, and streams that Clean Flow has restored. We employ Clean Flow Laboratories and they uh, got a compressor and an aerator here out on the pond. Whereas before we used to be able to, we used to have to 
uh, get rid of the growth on the surface of the pond by putting some chemical on. It dropped to the bottom, but it only made it more fertile. And uh, Mr. Lang and Clean Flow said that isn't what you wanted to have that happen. So he said, we'll put in an aerator. And he did that. And with very rare exceptions, it has worked perfectly to keep it clear. Bob, thank God you finally showed up. We had nothing down there except the swamp. It took a few years, but when you put the aerator in, we got clean water. What more can I ask for? Beautiful yard now, Bob. I wouldn't get rid of you for all the money in the world. It's great. Yeah, the pond, I guess, was constructed in about uh, 1970 or so as a sedimentation basin, and, and it served that purpose pretty well over the years. And the pond had a history of uh, aquatic plant problems with uh, both duckweed and, and filamentous algae, and we've got um, aerial photographs through the years of the pond that just about every one of them taken during the, the summertime you can see the surface of the pond is covered with the aquatic vegetation and uh, we put this system in I think in, uh, in March of this year and uh, you can see the pond looks a lot better now. Here's two more lakes that were loaded with weeds and algae before we started. As you can see, this unique and proven technology really does work. Many studies have been made by independent researchers confirming our results. Several people have written us telling about the good results on their lakes, ponds, and streams. Numerous news articles have been published telling about clean flow's success while others tell of countries around the world looking to clean flow to help save and maintain their dying waters. We hope that you will join the thousands of clean flow users all around the world.